<laughs> All right, if this doesn't show a bit of the problem I have with tools, then I don't know what would. This is 30 pairs of pliers around $1,800 worth. It has taken me quite a while to accumulate all these, but I figured let's get them all out. Let's go through them. I'm going to show you the things I like, the things I don't like. I'll show you how they cut, how they feel, a few of the differences, a few of the extras, and a few, I don't know, just bits and pieces of some of these and what my favorites are. So let's just get straight into this. Let's start with no particular one. They're all not really in order. These are Clipsal's Quick Connect. The part number is 852QCPH. These are for their Quick Connects. If you haven't seen the Quick Connects, they are a type of quick plug base that clips together. And the idea of these is that they have the extra stripper for your TPS. So something like this, the idea is that it fits around the TPS cable. I think it fits 1.5 a little bit better. I only have some of the purple 1.5, unfortunately, so it's gonna be an expensive journey. So if you can see that there, that fits in there perfectly and allows you to do a nice clean strip. And the idea is if you're doing quick connects halfway down the cable, you can just strip it off like that. So you would normally do two ends like that and strip them off. Overall, they're not bad pliers. I don't really like them. The cutting on these isn't great. You don't really hear that clip. It just sort of mashes them together. Some people like them. And I will say that with all of these, the cut is gonna be a little bit different depending on the actual pair of pliers. So I've used some pair of pliers where the cut was absolutely terrible, but then I've got another pair or someone else has told me that their pliers cut perfectly, like really well. So I don't know why that is. A lot of them can't keep it consistent, but yeah, this is gonna be very subjective. I've talked about pliers a lot and they are all subjective when it comes to what's best, what's preferred, what people like. So a lot of this will just be my own sort of preference. But yeah, the cut on these really wasn't great. I don't like them that much. And I don't really need to use the strippers. I can use just normal pliers. So it depends where you're at. So this is a bit of six mil. And you def definitely need two hands on that to cut six mil. So that just shows you a little bit. And these are thousand volt rated. And the size of these is 215 mil and they also do come with crimps. So look at the marbles, these are the thousand volt ones. You can get some that aren't thousand volt. These ones have the nibs at the end there, which obviously stop you from moving your hands up and close to live terminals. Part number on this is WATMA880EF. These are highly recommended from a lot of people. I haven't used a pair of Wattmasters that I was a big fan of. And so let's go for the cut on these. And it's actually not too bad. Wattmasters on the six mil. Definitely quite hard. So they are thousand volt rated, which is absolutely fantastic for those that are chasing that. Some people don't mind if it's thousand volt or not thousand volt. These do come with crimps. They are comfortable. I do like the handles. They are very much like the channel lock handles, which is one set that I really like. So these do come with the crimp and the size of these, looking 225 millimeters. 225 millimeters seems to be what I really like. I use the NWS, these ones a lot, and these are 225 mil as well, exactly the same size. So they're the Watt Masters. So next up, we've got the Marvels. These ones aren't thousand volt rated, exactly the same as your Crosscut. So we'll go through those very soon, but they, when it comes to the rating, all that means is it hasn't been tested and shown that the insulation can withstand 1000 volts. So a lot of people will use these still. You will cut live cabling. I know a lot of people that have done it with these and they're all fine. You're obviously not cutting cable that's producing 1000 volts, but that rating is just to show that it can withstand that. These have no rating, these haven't been tested. So that's all that means. I don't recommend either way, that's your own choice. Some companies allow it, some people don't, but we're not here to talk about that. These are the marbles. These are 220MA-880. 
feel fantastic in the hand. They are nice and loose, and they were like that out of the out of the packet. I've pretty much found that with all marbles. I can't say I've used a pair that has been tight. So that's that's definitely one thing that I prefer. The cut on these, I can't say it's great. And I have found that with other pairs. Even my apprentice at the moment, I believe he has a pair of these or it might be the Wattmasters. But they're very, very, very similar. And the cut, I, I can't stand it. I actually want to give him another a, a different pair of pies because he he yeah he's getting through it but when i borrow it it's it's terrible marbles on the six mil oh yeah it's 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 an absolute struggle eh? these do come with the crimp uh these are 222 222 millimeters they are a nice cheap pair I'm not a big fan, but let me know if you are. So next up we have a hybrid, which is the channel lock handles. So if you haven't seen that, I've done a whole video on it. I'll link it up the top. Channel lock handles on the marble cross cut pliers. So that's what these come out as, sort of like a Frankenstein. And the reason why I did that was because I love the channel lock handles, but I love, but I don't like the channel lock pliers we'll get to those later but the cut on these fantastic like like any of the cross cuts but especially the marbles they're like the og in australia absolutely fantastic like it's it's day and night people it's day and night cross cuts are where it's at when you're going larger cable or if you're just wanting to cut a lot that's why i use the cross cuts or rather them for rough in stage when you're just cutting you're not really terminating uh you might be twisting tape that's about it but yeah these these are awesome for cutting they do come with the crimper a lot of people like the crimpers i don't use the crimpers very much but now and then it comes out i uh, can't say that that is an indicator for whether i buy a pair or not maybe it is for you these are 215 mil long so we've got some channel locks not the normal ones these ones are thousand volt rated the number is three four eight one i think i'll um yeah three four eight one channel locks these i bought i think i had to get them off ebay this was quite a few years ago and oh, i think i almost paid 190 dollars like it is what it is it's stupid money 100 percent. and i just want to get my hands on them hadn't seen them and realistically i'm not that happy with them they're they cut all right but for, for that sort of price, I, I would rather almost any other pair of pliers, almost $200. The, the handle is fantastic. I do have to say that these handles are fantastic. 1,000 volt rated. They don't come with the crimper. Like for that amount of money, don't come with the crimper. They are light. I might even weigh these because these do feel a lot lighter. So if we go to the clip saws, 400 grams, 409. Wattmasters, 380. The Marvels, 400 for 360 for those ones. There you go, that's, that's a fair bit lighter and it's definitely noticeable. These are quite light in the hand. So then the channel locks, not, they're not too bad. And then we got the ones a lot of people are waiting for. Everyone always says, why aren't you using Nipex, Knipex, however you want to say it. Here are the big boys. These are 240 mil long. So a lot longer than pretty much all my other ones. I think I've got one other set, the Milwaukee's, which will probably be last. 0908240. So these are absolutely awesome for cutting, high leverage. I try to use these full time, but just could, couldn't really get around it. They're a little bit too big. They weigh a lot. Let's weigh this one. These are 460, so definitely the heaviest that we've used. And obviously you've got to think about having that in your hand all day. And if you're an Aussie, you're probably twisting. Um, yeah, you, it's, you definitely got to take that into consideration. For roughing, that's what I did use it for. The same as the cross cuts. They were good, but once again, they're just heavy. Putting it in your bag, in your pocket, very heavy. So these ones are the next version down oh are these these are pretty much the same i didn't know that they are very similar these are the 225s and i said before that i like the 225 mils 
But these, it's a bit strange. They usually, that part number, yeah, we're looking, it's about 232. Yeah, 200, 233. Yeah. Whereas these ones, these ones aren't 240 mil long. That's really strange. These are 235. So I don't know if you can see that, but 235 mil. They're not really 240 Nipex, so I don't know what the go is there. So these with the six mil, like butter. Absolute butter with these. High leverage, perfect. These don't come with the crimper. These do have the end there, which I think is used for fish tape. Can't say I've ever done that, but I know a lot of the Americans and maybe UK guys use it. So these are 430. They're quite heavy for what they are. The cut on 2.5. Absolute perfect. These are high leverage, uh, 1000 volt rated. Once again, these are the 0208225s. These I ran, I think these were my first. No, these were my first, the next ones. Uh, I got these ones next because I didn't like the smaller version. But once again, I don't know, I couldn't, couldn't really get around these. They're a little bit different to everything else that I've used. Like if you, if you sort of look at that, the handles are definitely different. I think I rather this sort of version, but that's just personal preference. Yeah, they definitely don't come with the crimper and it, all you do get is the normal head. So no extras on that one. Cut some six mil. They're quite good. They are definitely quite good. The high leverage is very good on the Nipex. So then we've got these ones, which are 0206 200. So these should be 200 mil. And they are looking to almost 205, about 205 mil. You can see they are quite good if you've got smaller hands, you like smaller pliers. Um, I do get contacted quite often by people that have smaller hands and I do recommend these. They are fantastic, they feel good. They are lightish. If we throw them on here, 340. So definitely not on the lighter side, but if you don't want the heavy ones, what were these? 400 and 420, 427. So close to 100 grams. We're looking about 80, 80 something grams. But yeah, they're the 0206 200s. Once again, you don't get any crimper. All you get is the normal head. And they are 1000 volt rated. The Vihars, Viha. So these are the cross cuts. Once again, getting to the cross cuts. I do like the feel of the Viha handles. I don't know why I can't really get behind them. I do see a lot of guys on site with them. I think they are quite a good plier. They've gone up in price recently. I think I used to be able to get them for about $55, but I think they're around the 65, although I think they've all gone up in price now. So um, I've seen them for 75. Once again, cross cuts, you, you just can't complain to the cut. I'm, I'm just gonna keep that, bringing it up. I love love the feel compared to a pinch cut. That's the six mil, like, look, the other ones I had to use two hands, not the other cross cuts, the other normal pinch cuts. I just use two fingers and it still cuts. So these are awesome. These do come with the crimper. These are thousand volt rated. They are 230 mil long, so a little bit longer to some of the other ones, like these, actually they're pretty bloody similar. I thought the other ones were 225. Yeah, they're definitely 230. We've got 375, so sort of on the mid to heavy, heavy side. Let's go the NWS, although where's the, oh, we missed these ones. These are the other Weehars, these are the pinch cut. The part number on these, I'll leave all the part numbers in the description, but I don't think this even has a part number unless it's 0209220SB. So this on six mil, it's not too bad, it sounds good, but it definitely struggled. If you're doing six mil all day, I would, probably wouldn't recommend them on your 2.5, definitely fine. I'm going through some cable. I'm going to need a cable sponsor. Yeah, it's definitely a struggle one-handed, but you can get it. These are 370, 374. 
These are, yeah, 1000 watt rated. They do come with the crimper. They do feel good in the hand. I like the, like the handles once again. They're nice and loose. I'd probably see more Weehars at the moment than almost any other pair of pliers. Uh, it'd be pretty close with the channel locks and the marble cross cuts. So yeah, it's, they're obviously doing something right. Let's go to the NWS. These are the 109.49.205. So that should mean they're 205 mil of meters long. They are probably about 207 mil. These are, once again, your smaller ones. If you've got smaller hands, definitely recommend these. The NWS I like, extremely cheap. You can get them from Bunnings. I know a lot of people look down on Bunnings buying tools for professional work from there, but the NWS gear is fantastic. It's all German made, same as the Nipex and a lot of the other brands, and they get the job done and they're just super cheap. This and the pair of side cutters, I think they're about 50 bucks. So almost $25 each. Let me know if, that, if that's wrong, but that's what I paid. It was a few years ago. And look at that, like, you can't complain. These aren't high leverage, 1000 volt rated, and they cut fantastic. They don't come with a crimper, so that's a downsize. They feel fantastic. I do like the handles of the NWS. Let's go some six mil. If these, if I don't think I've tried it with a six mil. It, it's a struggle. Definitely, definitely a struggle, but for, for that price, you can't complain. You, if, if you get a good, good spot with it, it cuts it. So definitely on the cheap end, but these are fantastic, NWS. 316, so that's very interesting that compared to these, so 316, 315, These are the same weight. So a little bit bigger. They might be a little bit wider or something, but whatever they've done with these ones, they've brought that, that weight down. So well done on that. So these ones are the ones I use full time. 370 grams. And these are the NWS 225 mils. I don't know what the part number is, maybe 5746, but I'll, I'll leave it, I'll, I'll put it up on the screen. These are my favorite. They're just extremely loose. I like mine, like if you, if you do that, you should be able to hear that noise. That's how loose they are. But these are now going on maybe three years old and I use them almost full time. I use some in between just to check them out, but usually I come back to these and that, they just like, for a pinch cut, these are $57 I think from Bunnings once again, and they're still going strong. Quite a few years old, I've cut a heap of cable. Like, I, I do have to think that these are one of the best pinch cuts. Like that's six mil. I think we could almost do it with two fingers. Like the, if we get it set up, it'll be hard. Nah, maybe three. Definitely three, but they're very, very similar to these, the cross cuts. Cross cuts are still better, but like I have to keep coming back to these. Uh, 1000 volt rated, they are, should be 220, they're 230 mil long. So a lot of these, I don't know how they get a lot of these numbers, but that's 230 mil long. They do come with the nibs there, it does come with the crimper, extremely loose, absolutely fantastic. Crescent. I have to say that the Crescents are some of my most hated ones. I, ju I, just, I just can't get behind any of them. Maybe it's just a personal thing. 400 grams, they are heavy. Wow, I was not expecting that. 407. So these are 215 mil long. And I do have to say, every time I post about the Crescents and say I don't like them at all, I get a whole pile of people saying they are the OGs, they are the best. Um, and obviously it might be the case with the older ones. Maybe I'll have a dud, but for me, I don't like the handles. It is similar to the Marvels. I don't like the Marvel hard plastic. I like the soft plastic. Maybe I've just got soft hands. But I, ju I just can't get behind these handles. Not a big fan. Uh, they do come with a nib. They are 1000 volt rated. These do come with the crimp. Let's go to the cut. So a bit of 2.5 mil. And there's no ting, you know what I mean? It's like golf, you get that perfect swing, you hit the ball perfectly, you get that sound. There's nothing like that, it just sort of like mashes. Oh, you got a little one there. Yeah, there you go. Let's go to the six mil. Oh, 
No. You can just get it with two hands. Um, but yeah, some people love them. I just can't, it's, it's mainly the handle, the feel. They are heavy and the cut isn't great. So for me, it's definitely out. Let me know what you think. 3800CHVN is the part number of those ones. That's the pinch cut. Because then we go to Crescents again, exactly the same as you can see, but the cross cuts. So the part number is 4800CHVN. That is the other thing as well. All of them have been very tight and I've done whole videos where I've tried to loosen these. I've used a heap of the three-in-one multi-purpose. That's my go-to. Some people use graphite, um, but yeah, I usually throw a bit of that in and then do that if they are hard to move. A lot of the other pliers aren't, but yeah, these are the cross cuts nib. You've got the crimper 215 mil long. If we go 375, so about that average, definitely lighter, which is fascinating than those ones, 400, so 30 grams heavier. Um, we'll go for the cut on the 2.5. See, they struggle to open up, but maybe they just need to be worn in. Good cut, I have to admit, it's definitely a good cut, but it's hard not to with cross cuts. Six mil, perfect. So definitely better at the cut. I'd have to put it up like better than the, the pinch cut ones. But once again, it comes down to preference. Not everyone's gonna use the cross cut. So these ones are the Klein Tools. Pinch cut 12098AEINS. That's a mouthful. These are Klein's pliers, 1000 volt rated. They've got the nibs, they've got the crimper. We'll go for the cut. Yeah, it's probably an average cut, but definitely good. Um, we'll go the six mil and it's, it's a struggle. Has that sound, which is good, but a little bit harder than a lot of the others. Definitely not as good as the NWS. As you can see, they're a little bit shorter. These are 215 mil long, 375, about that average. I do like that Klein Tools has changed the handles up. They're not just going for that general sort of feel that everyone else has. They've got a few little bumps along here for a bit more grip. They are 1000 volt rated, I believe. Yep, they are 1000 volt rated. Um, and they do feel good. I do like the feel of these. Hard to put them in, I do rate them. For the price, I think these are about $10. Work zone, Aldi, I've done whole videos on the Aldi gear. I'll put a link up there maybe, maybe, I don't know. If not, just look up Aldi pliers or electrical tools from ply uh, Aldi. I can't remember what I called it. But these are, I think they're 180 mil long. There's no part number, no part number. These are 180, let's just say 185 mil long. They don't come with a crimper. They're 1,000 volt rated, which is <laughs> pretty crazy for that price. They feel good, like they, they actually do feel good. And if you're chasing anything small, it, yeah, I rate them. But uh, the cuts, cuts obviously not that great. And they don't have a lot of room for a bigger um, cable. Not that really, you're gonna be using it much bigger than that. Maybe on 1.5, let's just say we're doing 1.5. Yeah, it works fine. Six mil, I, like, I'm gonna have to do that in two pieces, I guess. Get through there. Yeah, there you go. Not too bad, for the price, $10, I think you get the pack for like 20 bucks. Not bad there from Aldi. 258 grams for the work zone. Another set of cross cuts, these are the Wattmasters. These are the WAT MVA200R. So these are basically Wattmasters version of the marbles. They're identical. A lot of people ask about what the difference is. All your marbles are made in Japan, Japanese steel, whereas the Wattmasters, I believe, are Taiwan. So Taiwan, wherever they're sourcing their steel from, they're a lot I think they used to be a lot cheaper. They used to get a pack for like 50 bucks with these and the side cutters. But I think these are now 50 bucks each, maybe even more. They, they've definitely gone up in price. A lot of people run on these. They are quite good. I ran them for a while, had no problems. A lot of people said there was a difference with the steel that they felt that these nicked a lot or got blunt a lot quicker. I definitely didn't find that. So yeah, I don't know. 
it is what it is. They cut fantastic. These are quite used now as well. I use these for about a year. Absolute fantastic. We'll go the six mil. Once again, cross cuts on six mil, fantastic. You've got the crimper. They aren't a thousand volt rated, just like the Marvels. And these are 212 mil long. So yeah, they're the Wattmasters, really good. If you can get them cheap enough, I think it's definitely worth it. But if you're gonna pay 50, 60 bucks, you can get the proper Marvels for that same price, sometimes cheaper. So these, 350, 354. One of the other OGs for Australia, I know people use them overseas as well, they absolutely love them in America, uh, channel locks. A bit of a backstory, it'll be quite quick. I used these for maybe 12, 12 years or so, straight. I was given them as an apprentice, absolutely loved them. For years they would work. I would only change them when they would blow up. And I might have blew up maybe two or three of them. And then I bought a new pair and they locked up. So we've got quite a few here, plus the ones I've dismantled. We have two, four, six. And what happened with my next pair, it might've been one or two, they would lock up. So these ones actually aren't too bad. I wonder, no, I, I fully dismantled the last ones. So these ones are very hard. They just randomly lock up. I know a lot of people that have had the same thing. I've seen it on site with brand new ones, like two weeks old, and they've come up to me because they know I know tools, they've asked me about it. And I've just said that it's just a thing that just happens. I don't know why, but they fully lock up where you almost can't move them, you can't lubricate them, you can't fix them. And yeah, that's why I just couldn't go back to it after that. And then the cut wasn't that great either. That would blunt and quicker. And I just know if you check out any of the comments on any of the other videos I've done with channel locks and a lot of people are having the same problems. We don't know if it's a difference in how they're manufacturing, a difference in steel. There's a lot more pliers now compared to 10, 20 years ago. So there's more competition. So there's just my thoughts on it. Let me know what you guys think. I used to love them, but a lot of people have told me they have now left them which is very unfortunate. A lot of us loved them for years. So these, these are fairly new. And the cut is actually really good on that one. So when they're new, very, very good cut. So that's, that's definitely still a, a thing. But I did find that they just blunten very quick. These are the 3248s. They are 1000 volt rated. They do come with the crimper. They come with the nibs there. Fantastic handles. I love the handles. When we go to weight, we're looking at 348 grams. These are 226 millimeters long. Next up, we've got the Fujias. We've got quite a few. We might go through, yeah, we'll just go through all the Fujias. These ones are the 3000 TPZ225. Made in Japan. A lot of people love Fuji. I love a lot of their gear. You might even know I sell a lot of their gear. I don't sell these ones, but they're very similar to the other ones I'll show you in a sec. And the cut on these are fantastic. I really do like these. They are not 1000 volt rated though. A lot of the Japanese stuff isn't 1000 volt rated. They don't seem to use a lot of that over there. So I would love to know what the difference is. Why, why not? Maybe they just don't care. Um, maybe it's more a European British because it's mainly Australia and UK that delves into the insulated gear. Whereas I don't see America. I think they're sort of almost against it. A lot, of, a lot of them are against it from the comments I've had. But back, back to the pliers, they are fantastic cut. Should be able to get that, yeah, really, really good. Good feel. Not a huge fan of the, the, the handles. Once again, it's that hard plastic, but that's just a preference. These are 232 millimeters long. They do come with the crimper. Um, yeah, I really do like them. And if we weigh them, we've got 360 gram. But yeah, they're the Fujis, blue handles. We'll go to, we'll go to these ones. These ones are the black handle. These are the Curricon. If you don't know about the Curricon range, I've shown it before in a whole video. I've got a whole pile of their gear into Australia and they just look awesome. The black, the golds, they have all these little gold uh, additions to them. They just look fantastic. They feel amazing. Just, just the feel of them there. I'm guessing they're gonna be a little bit lighter they are a little bit longer, but I think they're gonna be lighter. The handles are nice and slim, and they also are a little bit closer together, I think. So if you see something like that, 
they're just a lot slimmer. Obviously not 1000 volt rated, but even when it comes to something like the Marvels, they're a lot slimmer again. So neither of them are 1000 volt rated. I don't know if these handle as much voltage because they're not tested. Um, but yeah, these are the yeah 300 N225BGs. These do come with the crimper, the very nice shine on these. They, they, just, they just look fantastic. And then if we go to the cut on these, just fantastic, absolutely fantastic on those. I really do rate the feel. You have to feel it, that, that's the biggest thing. They, they just weighted nicely. Um, I almost might go back to using these again. I used them for a while and loved them. And th the cut on that is fantastic. They do feel high leverage. I don't think they say, and all high leverage is, is where the pivoting point is compared to like the handle and the head. So um, that's all that means when it comes to high leverage. We'll look at the weight. So 350, I wouldn't say they're much lighter. I think it's just the feel of them. They, they just feel fantastic. So then we've got these ones, which is a 3020N-225BG. So same size, 225 mil, which is their 230, almost 235 mil. They're like 233. And these are a little bit different. And they're the only ones that I've known to have this function. A little bit, little bit different, but not that much different there. These have a threader on it. So for your threaded rod, for cleaning it, cleaning the thread, you can put it around it, move it around. I uh, can't remember what the thread type is on that. Oh, there you go, three eighths. So it even has it written. Once again, they feel fantastic. I think these ones feel better. I don't know why, the last ones, but they're very, very similar. These cut, I don't think they cut as well as the other ones. That's a six mil. Oh, yeah, they definitely don't cut as well as these. These, these are a lot better. Maybe, maybe these are more used. So next up are the flukes. We're almost there, almost there. These are the flukes. This was one I was really excited for, the INCP8s. So these came out in a big kit, came with these, I think some needle nose and some side cutters. And also I think you could get two different kits. One had like all the screwdrivers. And I got excited. I only got the pliers and I can't say I was overly happy with them. They're not too bad. They are a little bit shorter. So for those that are looking for something shorter, these are 205 millimeters or two, yeah, about two, 207 millimeters. They don't come with a crimp. They just come with the head. They do feel nice. The handles feel good. The pliers feel good. The cut is, I'd say, all right. Not, not the greatest, a little bit average. Definitely not high leverage on six mil. Actually, that might have been one reason. So, so that's full depth and obviously they are smaller pliers. So you're gonna find this with some of the smaller ones. I don't think you found it with these ones, the Nipex 200 mil, but it doesn't reach the whole way through the six mil. So if you have got to do six mil, you're not gonna get the whole way through it, which is unfortunate. Very similar to the work zone ones, very similar, but they do, they do cut. A little bit hard, but yeah, you'll get through it. They are definitely on the average end. I don't recommend getting them. Not, not the biggest fan of them. Uh, they do look good, feel nice. They're made in Germany, 323 grams. So the Kleins, these, one, two, zero, nine, eight. These have had some use. I use these for probably, must be close to two years straight. I, I absolutely loved them. These just felt nice worked nice, a lot different to a lot, a lot of the pliers. Like you can sort of see that the whole head is a lot larger and you've got like, I don't know why they didn't go the whole, whole way up on these. It's a little bit different. Like let's compare them to something like that. Definitely a lot different, but client tools, been around forever, been doing pliers forever. And these were just fantastic. They're thousand volt rated. They do come with the crimp. Uh, the cut on it, absolutely fantastic. After all the use, yep, I haven't used them for a while now, but still work just as well as when I got them. High leverage, nice and easy. Yeah, I really can't complain about these. If I went to another pair after these, 
or like in between, whatever, I would always go back to these. I used these for a long time before jumping over to the NWS. Probably rather the NWS a little bit more than the Kleins, but these are absolutely fantastic, highly rate them. They are close to twice the price though. They can be about 100 to $120, depending on where you're going, compared to the NWS, which are 50, Seven, I think, 53, 57, I think they've gone up. If we throw it on there, we're looking 370. And then we've got some south wires. These ones are a lot more American. I know you guys use them a lot more. I don't think they even really have much of a, of a brand out in Australia. They are quite large. The number on these is SCP-9 TPC. B. Do they have to make these names so long? These are 245 millimeters long. So they're big. They're heavy. They come with a few extras. So we'll go for the cut. They, they're high leverage, so they, they, they're going to slice through this. They're very similar to the Nipex, and they're very similar to one of the next ones, which is the Milwaukee's. Go for the 6 mil, just as good. Didn't quite get the whole thing on there. Yeah, nice and easy. They're gonna be a lot more. These are 500. I don't think we've had anything 500 yet, have we? These ones, yeah. They're definitely the heaviest and you can feel it. 493. So these ones, a little bit different. They do come with these screw cutters. We'll open that up and then you put these in. They usually have a thread. Some do, some don't. Yeah, these have the thread. So you can get a perfect, so this is just a GPO screw. Absolutely perfect. And if we cut it, untwist it, that should be perfectly ready with the thread to go into the GPI or whatever you're doing. So they do come with the crimper as well. I don't know if these are 1,000 volt, probably not being US. Nah, not 1,000 volt rated, but yeah, not a bad pair of pliers. <laughs> and then we've got these. I don't know if you guys ever saw the video, especially on TikTok, it's probably on YouTube as well, Instagram, wherever. These were the ones that went viral, that dude that was cutting, he was cutting nuts and bolts and uh, padlocks, all sorts of stuff. It was, it was all BS, absolute BS. I think I bought them for 30 bucks off them just, just to have a look. People wanted me to do it, they got my money. So we'll go for a cut and they're very, very average, very average. They definitely cut, not bad for 30 bucks, I guess. If we go for the six mil, I'll tell you what, that, that surprised me. I wasn't sure. Yeah, I don't think I'd cut six mil. I tried to do all the padlocks and screws and stuff, but yeah, they're, they're just an average, very cheap pair of pliers. They do come with the strippers down there. I think these are the only ones with strippers. Like we can go in, into all the installation pliers like these, but we're leaving these off, off the list. I've got a few different pairs of those. And yeah, that's, about it, they come with a crimper, a few different sizes of crimpers, so it, it, realistically for 30 bucks, it's not too bad. Not 1000 volt rated, 400 grams, definitely on the higher end. We almost forgot these ones. These are the Marvels. These are the MF, MVF 200S. So these are probably some of my newest ones. I've only been using them, or I've probably used them for about a year now, and they are very good. Once again, cross cuts, they're, they're probably up there. I don't know if they're much better. I reckon they would be, I do think that they cut better. Compared to those, and they're fairly new, I, it's hard, to, hard, really hard to show you. But it takes a little bit less with these, and that's because they have that rounded edge. Some people like it, some people don't like it. Uh, some people rather these ones, some people rather these ones. I, I sell both of these. I think I'm out of these ones at the moment, but we sell the red ones. And so I get a lot of feedback. We get a lot of reviews. Some people, yeah, like them, some people don't. Um, they are a little bit loose, which is some, uh, some people think is a problem. I, I haven't found any problem, but it, they are probably the loosest. They're very good. I like it that way. Some people might not, but there's no crimper on these ones, whereas the other Marvels do have a crimper, but it's just that cut, that six mil. It, it takes nothing to cut with these. So yeah, they're definitely very good. And if we weigh them, 300. So sort of on the lower end, I guess. And last but not least, 
the Milwaukee's. So Milwaukee's brought out quite a few different pairs of pliers over the years. I haven't used them all. They came out with a, the, one of their first ones were just the NWS's rebranded. So they were exactly these, just with their label on it. They weren't the 225 mil. If they brought out the 225 mil, I probably would have bought them. They probably would have been very good. They would have been the same as these, but just with the Milwaukee. Uh, but they brought out these ones, which aren't, aren't my favorite. <laughs> so, but then they brought out these ones and I don't think these hit the Australian market very well. I don't think they're very suited to what a lot of us do. Uh, I think more of us will go for like the, this style. It is just what it is especially when it comes to these being so large, but they have brought out a new set, a whole range of uh, electrical tools, electrical pliers, screwdrivers. So I haven't had my hands on those. I don't think they've even arrived here yet. So I'm keen to get my hands on those, but enough of that. These are the Milwaukee's, there's the cut. These are 48-22-5100. The cut, not too bad. They're high leverage, exactly the same as the Nipex or the Southwire. They're all very, very similar in size and shape. They've got that larger head. Uh, this has the grips down here for your fish tape. They also have the crimper. Um, they're not 1,000 volt rated. I would have thought they would have done that. But once again, being that American style coming over to here, um, once again, not everyone wants that. The 6 mil, perfect. I, I really can't fault the cut on that. Very nice. Yeah, it does say non-insulated there. But yeah, they're very nice. They're just too heavy, too large for myself. So yeah, 500 there, the biggest so far. So the most, that's half a kilo. Think about that. Carry on half a kilo in your hand, trying to maneuver it. And if you've got a twist and all that sort of stuff, yeah, very hard, but they're good, high leverage, may, maybe for some other work, nothing that I do. So then we've got the other Kurrican, uh, Fujio Kurrican range. So these are the cross cuts. They have two pairs. These are 6050175BG. So these are supposedly 175 millimeters, which they are 100, 185 millimeters. And these, are, the way I describe them as brutal, they are, they are just sort of next level. You can sort of see they have the cross cut blade, but they're very large and seriously, they just carve through everything like scissors. That scissor cut, 2.5, you're gonna have no problems. And that's from 185 mils. So the smaller they go, the harder it is normally because you don't have that higher leverage. But these, they're just so small compared to something like the marbles or like just anything. They're just, they're just tiny. If we put, how about we put them up against these? Just tiny yeah they're just they're just a great little bit of kit i do i can't say i've used the smaller ones much the 185s definitely a good little pair of pliers to have but i have used these ones a lot these are 200 mil so 6050 200 bg almost 210 mil longer i do rather the bigger longer handles but these cut probably a little bit better just a little bit more leverage they have got that bigger blade, as you can see. And that's sort of why I say they're brutal compared to those. There's probably an extra five mil, maybe a little bit more, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it makes a big difference, especially when you come up to Orange Cirque. I was doing a lot of Orange Cirque and just carving it up with these. But when it comes to stripping, that was the main problem. They are a little bit angled and just, I don't know, yeah, I, I, was, I was just, they're a little bit harder to use because of that angle. So you sort of see it up against the marbles. I don't know how well that's coming up, but these are a little bit more straighter. These are just on a big angle. And then you've got these ones. So obviously these are similar, but they come back around. So, and they're a smaller blade. So you just, you don't nick the cable. Yeah, these ones are fine for it. But yeah, these ones are definitely good for mains cables or just anything larger. I'm gonna go through and order these into some of my most favorite to least favorite. It's gonna be fairly rough in the middle, I think, because some are very similar. We're gonna do just cross cuts. So we'll do cross cuts down here. Look at this cable. I need to have uh, 
I need a cable sponsor of some kind. So there we go, that's pretty much the list. Favourite to most unfavourite, with all the pinch cuts, all the larger ones, definitely like the Nipex the best, South Y than the Milwaukee's, and yeah, once again, these are all very similar, so that's a hard one. But which one's your favourite? It's definitely a hard choice, and there's a minefield out there to go through when it comes to pliers. Just jump in, find out what you like, try to use other people's pliers where you can. A lot of people ask me which one's the best. Everyone's different. So just remember that and have fun with it. Hopefully you find something that you love. If you've got any questions, happy to answer them. Hit me up. Happy to look at any other pliers that you want me to. And I'll try to leave all the information that I can in the description. And until next time, check out some of my other videos. Thanks guys. Love ya.